While shopping for a budget earphone online, you probably have stumbled upon an X6 earphone. It is basically everywhere, and it seems to be the same X6, but differently named after many brands. Well, the X6 label is actually the brand itself. It is a generic earphone being sold by many different stores. Then each store just captions them to make it look like it is their brand. But no matter what store you choose to buy it from, it is the same exact generic Chinese earphone. Since it is basically everywhere, I decided to buy some and do a review. I got this for 199 Philippine pesos from Shopee. You can find the product link from the video description below. X6 is a wired earphone with 3.5mm jack interface. It is available with 5 color options. Black, blue, purple, pink and green. It has a built-in microphone and noise cancellation. It is also sweat resistant, and the inline physical control has a sliding volume control and a pause and play interface button. I bought 3 units here with different colors. Let's open one now. For a cheap earphone, this has a really nice premium feel packaging. We can see from the box the other specs, like its weight of 65 grams, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency, 60 ohms impedance, which is actually impressive if true, and a sensitivity of 96 decibels. We can also see the pictures of the five different colorways of X6 here in the side. Okay. Let's open it up. Nice. A really decent packaging for a 4 US dollar earphone. Nothing else inside the box, which means everything is in this small tightly sealed plastic packaging. Let's rip the plastic open now. Wow. It looks good. Everything looks transparent. We have an extra earbud replacements here with different sizes, which has become common to almost earphones in the market now. Alright. We have the X6 earphone here. I love that the 3.5mm plug here is 90 degrees. It looks nice with a gold-plated finish. And as you can see here, it has three stripes which corresponds to the lead and right earphone, plus the microphone. The wire of the X6 earphone is also transparent with a rubbery plastic texture. It looks thinner than usual, or maybe it just looks thin because it's transparent. But I hope it lasts long. For this price range, if this lasted for six months or more, I'm happy. The earphone part itself looks really nice. It has this gold-colored X logo here. It is transparent with some bubble effects on the case, making it look like a crystal gem or something. I really like how it looks. It resembles the high-end modular KZ earphones. Let's now look at the inline controller. We have a slider for the volume control. And we have a small button here for play or pause function. And a hole in between for the microphone. I really like the physical appearance of this earphone. Now, hear the microphone testing that I did, with and without a fan in front of me. Testing the mic of X6 generic earphone on an outside environment that is not too noisy nor too quiet. There is a construction here about 300 meters from me and there are some vehicles passing by the street. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing mic test 1, 2, 3. Testing the mic of X6 generic earphone on the same semi-noisy environment but now I am in front of an electric fan full blast on my face. Testing 1, 2, 3. Test mic 1, 2, 3. Okay. Obviously the microphone is not the best, as you would expect from this price range. It sounds tinny and thin. There's definitely a noise cancelling happening here, but it's also not the best. In the first microphone test, the one without the fan, you can hear the bark of the dogs and some hammer pounding from a distance. The volume of the voice from the recording though is clearly the dominant sound, which is great. Surprisingly, in the second recording, where I was in front of an electric fan, the sound was better. Looks like the sound of the fan in front of my face, which was cancelled out by the microphone, has also cancelled out the hammers, dog barks and other environment noises from the distance. My voice was thinner in the second recording, which further proves the cancellation of other sounds in the environment. Overall on the noise cancellation front, the X6 is doing good, though not the best. But comparing this to the earphones within this price range, it could be the best. The fit of the X6 earphone in my ear is good. Due to its shape, just like the Sabbath E12 Ultra shape, it fits better to the shape of an ear. Even with sudden movements, the earphone stays in place in my ear. The cable is long enough, at about 1.5 meters, to fit with the distance from my ear up to my cell phone on my pocket, or the distance between my ear and my laptop. Although the cable is on the thinner side. The KZEDR1 earphone for example, has a thicker cable than this. The 90 degrees 1.5 mm jack end of the X6 might be subjective, but for me, I like that 90 degrees angle. Based on my experience, earphones with that right angle usually lasts longer, since it doesn't need to bend as much from that 3.5 mm edge part. 
I have no complaints whatsoever on the general usage of this X6 generic earphone. It's nice. The inline controller for the volume and player pause is also a welcome feature. Most of the cheap earphone only has the play pause button, and some doesn't even have anything. So being able to control the volume without taking out your cell phone is good. By the way, the volume control from the X6 is independent from your PC or phone system volume control. I would take care of the controller though since it is made of a cheap plastic. I doubt that it would survive a bump or even a squeeze. On the sound area of the earphone, it is surprisingly good. It creates a balanced sound between treble and bass. The details of the music is also good. You can hear the different instruments when listening. They give you an idea, take the sound profile of Sabody 12 Ultra, then reduce its bass footprint. That's it. That's how the X6 generic earphone produce its sound. I did not expect this from a cheap earphone. I am really enjoying the sound profile of this one. You wouldn't believe that it is coming from a 199 pesos earphone. To summarize, the X6 generic earphone meets all the criteria that you'll expect from its price range. It is a reliable earphone for music listening and conversation. It fits well on your ear, has an ergonomic shape and an overall great look with its transparent theme. Aside from that, you'll also enjoy the benefits that goes beyond this price range of earphones. It has an independent inline volume controller along with the play pause button, the noise cancelling is decent, and the sound it produces is better than most earphones on the same price. If I have to find fault about this earphone, it will be on its build. It has an average to thin cable, and the plastic material used here is not something that will boost your trust for durability, especially on the controller part. But then again, I don't think you will see anything sturdier within this price range. So, if you are on a tight budget, you will surely get your money's worth with the X6 generic earphone. But if you have a money to spend, I would suggest getting a branded earphones for longevity. Alright. That's it for this video. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.